Alright guys, I thought I'd give you a bit of an update on the boat. Um, obviously, I've done a bit of work on the old trailer, um, put new axles and brakes and stuff on. Um, and then we've done the interior, as you can see. Um, and then uh, doing a few other things. I've started doing the wiring, got a solar panel down here that I've got to put on. I'm just fiddling around with the mainsail at the moment because I couldn't get that all the way up to start off so we had to run a new halyard uh, line through the mast so that was interesting um, and obviously fix a few leaks um, yeah so she's still got a fair bit of work to do but uh, we are getting there so So we've pulled out all the cabinets and um, cupboards and stuff inside. Um, I found that a lot of the uh, internal walls are rotten and they used a particle board for some reason. It's just kind of all extended and got cracked. So I'm going to rip out most of the internal walls. Uh, all the cushions we've taken out to get re-upholstered. The water tank, the hit of water bladder in it. it was Disgusting, so we'll that out. You can see here where it's been leaking through the um, where the chain plates go through the deck, and uh, I don't think they sealed it properly, or if they did, they use a really crappy grade of sealant. So that's kind of destroyed all the inside walls. So I ended up pulling them all out, and having to replace it with new new uh, woods. Oh, guess what, guys? 110 subscribers. Woohoo! That's like a lot. Right? I found one of the most handiest tools that you can have when you're doing a boat fit out or pretty much anything really is the old um, adjustable hammer that I'm using there now. Pretty good. Everyone should uh, at least have one, probably two actually, to be fair. Yeah. I don't even reckon they glued this, eh? So it doesn't look like it. If they did, they did a shitty job. No, it's not glue on there. I wonder if it's fucking leaking, you dumbasses. Yeah, some people. Here we are pulling out all the internal walls. Had to use a um, strop to pull them out because they're quite tight to fit it in. Uh, we've cut some new walls out of marine grade ply. This is uh, cutting off the old axles. Uh, putting the new axles back in. I've got my boat cushions guys, what do you reckon? We uh, had to pick a colour that goes with the brown in the walls and with the sort of creamy colour on the cabinets. So we were sort of a little bit 
stuck with colours, so that's why they're red. Looks alright though. Alright, let's come and have a look at what we've done inside so far. New cooker. I haven't put these back together yet, but I've got to run new water line and what have you. So I've got my fridge, 12 volt. Um, that's going to be my water tank in there. Obviously, new cushions. Um, setting this up at the moment for solar. Just going to tidy it all up. I'm going to put a few more things in here. This is going to be my power station. Uh, new radio. New VHF. There we go. See what this is still going to be tidied up. And battery and whatnot in here now. So battery, storage. Um, I'm in the process of putting some carpeting on the floor uh, put a, a lock bolt to hold the keel up uh, new toilet to going in, that's half done I'm going to put some more shelving in here obviously that's the front the berth which we haven't really done much in here but I've replaced these walls and I'll put a new Cupboard, new shelf. Now oh, that's my sail bag. So everything's reasonably accessible. Um, yeah, still quite a bit of stuff to do, but she's a bit more usable now. So yeah, 